Hey, how are you guys doing today? Today I'm just showing you my results of my twist out, but this time what I did differently is that I made a big twist. Um, I probably had no more than about maybe 12 twists in my hair. You know, I usually do the small ones, but this time I wanted to know what it would look like if I did the big ones. And this is my results. You know, you guys can see this good. And um, one thing I, I did notice um, about me doing twists is um, at the end, I don't do the fluff method, like when you run your finger through your hair and um, stop at the end, I just straight separate lines. And that works better for me. Um, I know Curly and Nikki does the fluffing, but I don't do the fluffing. It doesn't work as well for my hair. And it also just goes to show that, you know, different things work better on different hair, something as small as like how you separate your curls might make a big difference in another person's hair versus your hair. Well, I'll show you the products that I use. Um, I co-wash with um, Totally Twisted Herbal Essence. Um, I love this stuff. It smells really good and so that's why I like to use it. And it also like define my curls and make my hair like super soft. Um, as my leave-in, I use Sleek and Shine by Garnier Futri. Um, I use it kind of like my, my setting lotion, kind of, or pudding, basically. I would put this in the different sections, and I would twist with that in my hair. I use it, um kind of heavily but I wouldn't suggest using like a whole lot of it but um you know you can, you can use quite a bit but not like you know you don't want to use a whole bottle and um of course what I always use as a styling agent is my shea butter yeah um this stuff is my hair loves it um I know some people they don't they don't like shea butter it gives them like a waxy feel I think what it is I, I don't know just try it I think what it is that you really really have to rub it in really good in your hands before you even put it in your hair um, the shea butter has to be invisible really you should just see like the shine on your hand before you put it in your hair and um, that's what helped me because I used to have the same feeling where I thought shea butter just made my hair feel real waxy and, and things like that, but um, just rub it in really good. And then something else that might help is if you melt the shea butter um, and do it as a liquid, that might help you out also. Um, that's basically it. That's all I really have to say today, but I think I will start doing chunky twist outs instead of doing the little small ones unless I plan on keeping the small ones in my hair for you know, a couple of days, then I do the small ones, but that's all I really have to say for right now, if you guys have any questions, um, just shoot me a comment or, you know, send me a note, and I'd be glad to answer your questions, and you guys have a great evening, oh yeah, and um, I'll probably leave some pictures at the end of this, just so you guys can see my hair close, okay, alright, bye.